In EBM, the storage stop for our mapping is computed by taking the Ketchak 256. Let's say that we have a mapping from key to value. And for this example, we'll keep it simple and say that the value will take up one slot. The size of the value will be 32 bytes. In this case, the slot of the value will be the Ketchak 256 of the mapping key and the slot where the mapping is declared. For example, let's say that we have a mapping from address to uint256. The key will be an address and the value will be uint256. uint256 will take up 32 bytes, so it will use a single slot. Let's name this map. To compute where the values for the map is stored, we need to apply this equation. Take the Ketchak 256 of the key, so the key will be an address, and the slot where the mapping is declared. In our example, the mapping is declared in slot 0. So for over here, we will put in a 0. Okay, let me give you some examples. For this example, I've declared three addresses, address 1, address 2, and address 3. And I've stored 11 for address 1, 22 for address 2, and 33 for address 3. Next, we'll write a function using assembly to get the values stored in this mapping. Function test mapping. We'll take in a single parameter, the address, we'll call this key. This is the key to our mapping that maps from address to unit 256. Public view returns, we'll return the value stored in the mapping having the key key. Returns unit 256, we'll call this b for value. And again, we'll be using assembly to get the value that is stored in this mapping having the key key. So let's now apply this equation. So I'll copy this equation, and then I'll paste it here. Slot of the value is a Ketchak 256 of the key and slot where the mapping is declared. We'll compute this slot, and when we take the Ketchak 256, it will return bytes 32. I'll call this slot for b, slot for the value, slot b is equal to Ketchak 256 of abi dot encode. We first need to take the Ketchak 256 of the key, so inside here, put in key, and the next value that goes in is the slot where the mapping is declared. The slot where this mapping is declared is in slot 0. Over here I'll type uint 256 0. And this will give us the slot where the value is stored. To get this, we'll say b is equal to sload to load the slot at slot b. Okay, let's try calling this function. Hit control s, the contract compiles. Next I'll deploy the contract, and then we'll call the function test mapping and we'll test address 1, address 2, and address 3. Address 1, address 2, and address 3. Let's start with address 1. Paste it here. So, the map having the key address 1 stores the value 11. So when we call this function, we expect to get 11 back. And we do. Next, let's try address 2. We expect the value to be 22. 22. And finally, address 3, we expect this value to be 33. Get 33. 